What is up, everyone? Hello, and welcome back to Nostalgic Monday on Carter Plays. So I'm much better now, as you can see. I was so sick last week and um, was so, so upset. I hate, I hate, you know, I just really wanted to get some uh, videos done and I really wanted to stream some more games, but I just did not have the energy. I needed some rest. So I'm glad to be back at it again with um, Carter Plays. So today's Nostalgic Monday game is a series is a series yeah i guess that's what i would say this is a game that had multiple games come after and was very popular and hugely successful so i'm excited to be able to introduce it to my channel um i need to see when this game came out because to be honest with you i don't even know the actual year that it came out hold on let's see Da, 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 da. What is the year? It came out. Okay, because I know that there were like four or five games. This game was released in the year. Oh my goodness, where's the year? 2008. Was it really 2008? Wow, I would have guessed it would have been a lot earlier than that. Okay, so this was a game that was released in 2008. A uh, very puzzle oriented game. Um, and every game that came after became even better, just more flawlessly done. So I'm just so excited to kind of revisit them now, all these years later. Um, but they are more timer Beckett. So it is a wonderful, like hidden object puzzle game, but it's not your typical hidden object game. You have to kind of take what you use and incorporate that into um, puzzles that will come throughout the story. So it's so exciting. I haven't played this one in so long. I barely remember it. So I'm so excited to kind of go back and revisit it. I think it's going to be so great. So um, let's jump in to more Timer Beckett and the secrets of Spooky Manor. Here we go. Please enter your name. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Here, let's make sure we got the all the sounds down here. It's really the music I think that's Okay. All right. So, more time for Beckett and the Secrets of Spooky Manor. Oh my gosh. I'm getting like Disney's Haunted Mansion type of vibes right now. Oh, so good. And he, look, his eyeballs follow the cursor. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Okay. Here we go. Let's play. Hello. My name is Mortimer Beckett. I'm on my way to my uncle's manor. Ten days ago, in front of my door, I found a package. Inside was a journal, with each entry written in verse. Included was a letter. Package was from Jerome Beckett, my great uncle. He resides upstate in his old manor. I last saw him well over twenty years ago. I don't remember much about him other than being surrounded by piles of books and strange-looking machines. Indeed, he was quite eccentric. And after many years, this happened. My dear nephew, something terrible has happened. The machine itself is ready, but they stole the starter unit. Its parts are hidden all about the house. You must come and help me find and complete the starter unit. We must activate the machine without haste. I await your quick arrival. Your uncle, Jerome Beckett. P.S. I'm placing my guidebook in your care. Inside, you'll find all the help you need. I'm bothered by many thoughts. What happened to my uncle? What kind of machine is he talking about? Most of all, who are they? I arrived at his estate. I knocked on the door. No answer. I entered the house through an open window. Ooh! 
<laughs> it's just so good. What a great introduction story. And also so spooky. Okay. The four items shown below have been broken into pieces and scattered across the room. Locate and collect all the pieces. Click on this piece of the mask to collect it. So this is kind of like the tutorials, kind of warming you up to everything. Good. Now collect the remaining piece. Ah, uh -huh. so we have a mask. You've collected your first whole item and it's now placed in your inventory. Now collect the remaining three items. When you're unable to find a piece, click on the hints button. All right, simple enough. See, I just love like these casual games. They're just so great. So we have a butterfly and a mask. Um, still looking for the remaining pieces here. Okay. Um, shouldn't be much more. Oh, they tell you. Oh, it tells you how many pieces you have left. Okay, okay. Um, oh, there's the remaining of that one. Oh, and there's that one. This is it, right? Hmm. So, oh, is it that? That has got to be it. Hmm. Where is it at? It should be... Is it that? Wow, there's a lot of items in here that kind of look like that. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, the music. It's cracking me up right now. Oh, it's right there. Okay, sweet. Good work. You've collected three misplaced items and one puzzle item. Misplaced items need to be returned to their rightful place in the room. Now, click on the clay ahead to pick it up from the inventory. There is similar clay head on the wall and an empty space below it. Hovering the mouse cursor over this empty space will indicate a hotspot where you may use a completed item from the inventory. The hotspot description will also be shown in the status bar. Now place the clay head by clicking on the hotspot. Ah. Same with the butterfly. Okay. Ah. Good job. Now that you've placed all misplaced items from your inventory, you have one puzzle item left. Puzzle items are used to initiate some actions. Open ways to new floors, open chests, obtain other items, etc. Can you guess where to use the bottle of wine? If not, click on the guidebook for a hint about what to do next. Tipsy ghost. <laughs> do I have to give it to him? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Oh, sweet. Ah, so we were in the basement. You could go to the next floor now, but you're not yet done exploring this floor. Let's go to the other room in the basement first. Navigate between rooms and floors by using the map. Click on the map now. Okay. Now click on the boiler. Oh, there's multiple rooms. Now solve this room like you did the first one. Ah, so yeah, that's right. I remember now that that's basically how it works. You're going to find, it's kind of like hidden object, right? You're finding pieces, but once you complete the objects, then you have to use them for a hint, like for, to complete a puzzle. Okay, let's see. So basically, I take it that our uncle lives here. And he has been overtaken by a bunch of ghosts. Is that, is that the vibe I'm getting right now? Hmm, let's see. Is this it? Yeah. So we have three pieces left. I bet it's going to be like the wood portion of it. And then probably like that silver piece. Um, I just don't even know where to start. Oh, look, there's one. And silver piece. Oh, right there. Okay. 
So now we gotta figure out, okay, this is Magician's Kit, so definitely a crystal ball. Paintbrush goes there. But a wheel goes somewhere right around in here. Yeah. Excellent. You've put all the items on this level back to their place and revealed part of a secret code. Ooh. Behind. Ooh. Oh, I can unlock this. Inside the chest, you find a part of the ghost machine starter. Oh, so we have to find parts of the machine as well. Ah, okay. You've collected first part of the ghost machine starter. Collect all parts of the starter, find the ghost machine somewhere in the house, and use the starter to turn the machine on and rid the manor of the ghosts. Ah, so basically this place is haunted and we've got to take care of it. We're Ghostbusters. Basically, right? Okay. Ground floor. Oh, we're on our own. Oh, so many places to go. Let's go to the kitchen. Ah! A hungry ghost. I am dead. I am dead. At first, it feels kind of like easy because you can like see the fragmented parts like really quick. But some stuff I feel like is going to be hidden really well. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, we could probably go ahead and... Hungry Ghost. Here you go. Oh, she revealed a part of a puzzle piece. Hidden object piece. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tap water. Oh, an empty vase. This is where this goes. Oh, there's a the plate. So the plate goes here, and then we just need this thing. Is it this? Oh. Oh. Now I have a whole bucket of water. I bet I have to put something out, like a fire or something. Hmm. Let's go to the guest saloon. Light this fire. Ah, we found another part. Found the ro rotor. Rotor. Okay. All right, let's go. Finding puzzle pieces. So, like. Do you think, like, I know, like, escape rooms exist, right? Like, escape rooms. But, like, how cool would it, would it be if, like, there was, like, a whole place set up like this? Where, like, you actually had to, like, go through it and find hidden objects. But solve puzzles. I guess that's basically an escape room. Essentially. Which I love. I love escape rooms. What is this? A light switch? That is a weird looking light switch. I would argue that looks more like a uh, like a thermostat. One of those smart thermostats. Um, let's see. There's not much left. Oh, oh my gosh. It was right up there in the corner. Clock. We have a chain. Oh. So I wonder how do we get out of here? We go back to the map? So we get to come back if we maybe have something to break the chain. A hatless ghost? <laughs> oh no, he needs his hat.
Okay. I bet you that uh, chainsaw, not chainsaw, but like, you know, like a handsaw, I bet that's what we'll use to get rid of this chain. And then we move forward. Mr. Ghost. Ah, and then there was the hidden pea. Oh, 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 I'm understanding everything. Let me out of here. Sweet. That was pretty quick. So we have the rotor, the pulse emitter. Ooh, lots of rooms here. So we have the spare bedroom, the clock room, homestead, and the inter uh, the clock room sounds cool. Oh my gosh. There's like all these ghosts and they're all so different. <laughs> See, now, now I'm just like curious and I wanna know, okay, like, but how did the ghosts get there why are they here because they're not like mean ghosts they're just kind of overtaking ghosts <laughs> oh there we go there's a piece there um still looking for that one piece but maybe it just isn't revealed yet so we have a clock a teddy bear clock phase and a watchmaker. Hmm. So I see how that. Oh, that's a bit tricky because we're gonna keep going to some rooms, and we're gonna have to be taking items from there over. What's the homestead? Hmm. Okay. Got like a wheel. Got a chess piece. Teddy bear. that is. I don't even know what that is. Like an angle thing. Hmm. Oh, there it is. There's one. Wow, we're finding these so quick. It's awesome. It's like rapid fire hidden object. to find this really small piece right here. Oh, you guys can't see. It's like one little tiny like line. <laughs> it's like the best way I can explain it. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to another one. Ooh, the spare bedroom. So we're, oh, a bird. Well, we know where that's going. It's going to the bird house. Like the feathery part of the bird. 
Mm, it's just not sticking out. Oh, this goes here. A pillow? Can we cut the pillow open? Excuse me. Not be revealed yet. Bearded man. Hmm. Okay. This is our last room here. It's the entry. Oh, this goes here. What are we looking for? Okay. Umbrella, a ship, a grasshopper, and what? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Camera lens. <laughs> Just sew something, isn't it? Hmm. Umbrella holder. What's that? Closed window? Maybe that's how we escape. that right there yeah so we still have three sections of that oh there's one hmm. there's another oh there's another so now we just need that a book Okay, so we've basically been to every room, so maybe let's start back over and see if we can, like, put some things together. Um, like, this is a clock, so can this go here? Yeah. So it doesn't go there, maybe it goes somewhere else. Oh, this goes here. Clock face? Does this go? Yeah. Okay, so we did that. Oh, this is for him. Makes so much sense. Clock. It's weird though, but we don't have an actual clock face, so I wonder I'm gonna open it or Oh, this is a clock opener. There it is. Yeah. What is that, a razor? We can shave this guy? Yeah, there we go. We just found the ghost matter? Is that what that was? Oh my gosh. Empty bottle? No. Oh, a ship. Is there anything else that we have? Chess, a white horse? Let's grab a thick horse next to it. So, I don't think this is hidden. I think this is somewhere. We just haven't found it. Ah, there it is. Oh. missing, I think, this one piece. Oh, I wish I could show you guys my camera's over it. It's just like a very tiny sliver of a something. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to use a hint because there's like no way I'm gonna find that. Like it's so tiny. 
I'm using the hand. Visible, which means that we've got to do something. Ah, there we go. Yep, you guys see that? That's so tiny. There's no way I would have found that. But I realized it was hidden for a reason. Oh, yeah, we never found this part, did we? Boom. And then we put this drawing here. And then we, oh, in, in the, behind in the, woo, we are out of here, man, we're going fast, we're going to the garden, ooh, so many good, the backyard, oh, we're going, ooh, spooky, <laughs> This is amazing. So we gotta look for an owl. And then we also need a seven, the sign. And this letter. This light bulb. Oh, so I can put this owl in this owl. Hmm. So we just have this little tiny metal light part and then part of this letter. So we'll probably just come back because it could be hidden. Okay. The porch. I love gnomes. Okay, we're finding a license plate. Um, whatever that is. A watering can and a hammer. We just have one more object. All right. To the wine cellar. Purple cup. Some gumballs and a card. And we're finding this stuff fast. We are zooming. So this can go here, and this can go here. So we're still looking at that. Boom. Wow, most of the stuff we found goes here. Oh, those weren't gumballs, those were marbles. Um, is there anything else that we pay bank? I bet you we have to break, break it to get something. In the garage. So we're looking for shears, a lid. Is that a door of a fridge and a phone thing? What? That is so something. Okay, there we go. That is so that. Is that not? Mm. See, yeah, 
yeah, we need a coin for this, I bet you. Mm. Well. Okay, let's go put some stuff back because I feel like we have a lot of stuff. Let's see, does anything go here? Thorny roses? We can share them. Ah. Hmm. Is there a way we can sharpen the shears? This goes here. <gasps> broken sharpening stone. Yeah. Why is it broken though? Like, how do we? Like, what needs to be fixed? Does it need oil? Oh, so now we need oil in the in the can. the garage. Oil drum, yes. How do I... Yeah. So now if we go back over here, we can put oil on it. Uh, oh yeah, look at it rolling. Yeah, there we go. So now we can go back over here and snip, snip. <gasps> oh, that's how we're getting out of here. Noise. Put this letter in the mailbox. I bet you at the garage, this license plate goes on here. Yep. So what are we missing in here? We're missing a small white sliver of the my ah oh I thought that was it hmm. yeah it just goes over the old fridge I don't see it though back to the wine cellar. So there's just the piggy bank. Yeah. And I feel like we need the hammer for that. Where is the hammer at? Is it here? Yeah. Maybe we can still find this object. Ah, yeah. Oh, is this not it? I swear this is it. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go here. Try and break the paint. Open. Boom. That's cool. We didn't even know that was going to be a thing. What to get? Another part of the machine. We got the accelerator. Sweet. And we're still looking for this one object. It's crazy to me that... We still haven't found it. I feel like I'm just overlooking it somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is right there in front of me. Ay, ay, ay. But, uh, headlight. Ah, oh, headlight. That's uh, over here in this one. Right there. And that was all we needed. <gasps> Behind in the blank room. Uh, all right, we're going to the east wing. 
We have the gallery, the balcony, the drawing room, or the pantry. Ooh, the gallery looks pretty cool. I like the music. Okay. So, let's start finding these objects. That's one gonna be one of the ones that it's hidden, maybe? It's hidden some kind of way. What's this? What is this? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another. Oh, there has to be this somewhere. Oh, but maybe not, because it's a puzzle item. Those are, like, more important. Yeah, I think that one's going to be good. So we'll come back to it. The balcony. Alright, so we're looking for some stained glass stuff. That should stand out. And we're also looking for a toy man... Some gold lighter? Looks like a lighter to me. Also a black plug. Oh, this goes here. Okay. Well, let's start going somewhere else because I don't see some of this other stuff. Okay, ooh, let's go to the pantry. Looking for a boot, a candle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where? I thought I just saw where this part was. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And we still need part of a dart and the boot. Wherever that may be. That was tricky. The music is so good. So where have we not been? Oh, the drawing room? The drawing room. Purple fluffy thing. So fluffy! That one was fun. That one was easy. 
A big giant nose. I love in games when there's like real life people in it. It always makes me feel like, I wonder if like the designers, you know, were like, let's put pictures of our family in here. <laughs> and then they're there forever. Like here we are. Who would think we'd be playing a game all the way from 2008 on this channel in 2023? And that's like someone's kid. <laughs> There it is. There that is. Sweet. All right. So now we got to go back through and figure out where everything goes. Ah. Oh. The nose. A chandelier. How about this? A cupboard. Could the key? What's that? A blowtorch? I don't know what that one would be. A pantry. Mm, violin. Yeah, we don't have that. Radio. Yeah. So we still have some objects there. And then the balcony. Still need the boot. Ah, I bet you this one is good. Boom. Gives us a lighter. So, I don't know what the lighter would be for, unless it's for the blowtorch. Oh. Nice! We have the converter! Okay. Well. Then there's that. Hmm. Well, we still have some objects that we haven't found here. Um, this portion? I don't even remember what this was. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, there it is right there. And then the rest of the, the plug. Mm, it's got to be here somewhere. You guys see it? You see it anywhere? Hidden somewhere? I just don't see it. Hold on. I'm gonna go put this at least here, because I know that's what it's there. of the boot and whatever this base part is. No. And see, there's two parts missing. We have the round cylinder part, but we also have the black end piece. So that has to go somewhere. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see. Where else have we... We have this room, which we still need sheet music stand. Oh, right there, sir. Bricks. Scented candles. Oh, and a dartboard. So we definitely still... Oh, there they go. I bet you that goes with that violin. Was it right here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we still have so many parts that we haven't found. it at the balcony i think we need to find the plug because the plug will turn the fan on which should i think give us the last piece of a puzzle that we really need to move forward maybe we should use a hint for this one ah wow that was really well hidden i would not have found that so then if we go here to where the fan is at. Uh, yep. So we needed that. Oh, but we still don't have the other piece though. It's up here on here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Does that go on this cupboard? Yes, and we needed that hammer in order to break the bricks. Wow. That was a lot of stuff that we needed to move forward. So we're still looking for the boot. Hmm, the boot, the boot, the boot. which I just quite honestly, I really don't know where it's at. So maybe time for another hint. Whoa, that was so good. That looks like the edge of the book. Well done, well done. Oh, that one was, that was pretty hard. That was pretty hard. The, behind the, in the, oh, we're going to the West Wing. Ooh, the nursery. Oh, fun, 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 lots of fun. Let's go to the nursery. Nanny ghost. <sighs> Nanny ghost. Ooh, look how many objects we have to find. Definitely getting a harder. Hmm. Doll head? Creepy doll head. left we just had to find a couple more objects hmm I don't see where these are hmm oh man and these are really well hidden now oh there's one Okay, so we just don't have the rest of the piano key, whatever that was, but I don't know what it was. Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just come back. And we have a hidden room. 
Oh, that's handy. Ooh, library. Big giant eyeball. I feel like there's always a room where it's like the objects are a little bit easier and you can find things super fast. But then other rooms you're like, you're hunting. Desperately hunting to find it. Like, boom. We just found all of that. That was so fast. Hunter ghost. we'll find those yet they may appear later like this one may appear later so yeah what's that mouse hole of cheese Ooh. okay and then the music room We have a lot of things already. Okay. Let's go back through and start doing what we do. We have a bot key, a bot key. Ah. Which gives us drumsticks, okay. Maybe that goes in the nursery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's still a lot of objects in here that we haven't found. Doll head. It's another eyeball. Oh, it's so creepy. Okay, that was the majority of every a nanny. She needs something. What does she need? Do you need some potassium? Do you need a, a, a knife? A sword? A swimming ring? Hmm. Pop it. Yeah. Ah, there's the tuba piece. Oh my gosh. Do we? What you want to bet? We put this on here. Blow on it and something comes out. I knew it. It's an old book. Okay. So let's see here. What else do we have to do? Then this room? Yeah, let's put a candle here. Missing book. Is that how we get out? Oh, that's the hidden room. a wedding brochet if you ever find my fiance give it to her she'll be grateful Ooh. is the nanny your betrothed wow we just 
just accomplished a lot of things. Okay. Uh, is it a lampshade or a basket? Something? Need some ink, some cheese. And a light bulb. Oh my goodness. So, if we go back here, no, here, <laughs> we can do the mouse. Ah, oh, this is our other uh, part. OMG, we're getting so close. Let's see if this is her ring. My brooch, thank you so much. You may use this door to go upstairs. <gasps> what door? There's no door. So they're together. Hmm. Man, I don't. Oh, yeah, we can do this light bulb. Was that on it? Lampshade. I think we've done almost everything in this room, right? Hmm. Interesting. What do we have left? We have a light bulb. What does she still need? So then this means, oh, is that it? <gasps> There's one. I'm gonna put it back right now. It should have been everything in this room, right? Oh, so that's gonna be an antler. Okay, so we need an antler for that. We're still looking for the ink bottle. Ink bottle. There it is. Sweet. I don't know where that's supposed to go. somewhere in here. Yeah. There we go. We're getting so close. We still need another part of the antler. I really felt like that was it. But I guess not. Is it right there? light bulb. <laughs> ah, there it is. So then that can go to the trophy room. We can put that on there. Sweet. So now we just have to do the music. Ah, there was a whole light right there. Look behind the... I just want to know so bad. Oh my gosh, we're almost to the top. Second floor. Ooh, the bathroom, the study, the bedroom, the billiard room, and the corridor. Uh, the bathroom. That's got to be so fun. Finding Nemo. Nemo. There, there. Daddy's here. Daddy's got you. I don't know why that quote from Nemo <laughs> is always, always there. I never forget that quote. Just moving along. Mm, still need part of the wood. 
and part of this metal thing. Boom, we just did that so fast. <laughs> the corridor. An open sign, um, a red bow. So we don't have an O, and we still need part of a knife. This is the other? No. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> ah, right there. Okay. Wow, I feel like we've moved forward in this one. Town. Wood plank. What is that? Fluffy pen? Dude, fluffy pens, those were everywhere in the early 2000s. We used to get in trouble with those in school. Like, you could not have any kind of, like, distracting pen. They were always so fun, though. I mean, you could buy those at the book fair. Like, and that was what we would always argue. You're like, so you want us to go to the book fair and spend money but we can't use what we buy at the book fair or at school. <laughs> Explain this one to me, Depra. All right. Bowl needs a fish. <gasps> and it moves. Dude, that fish is making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> Insert letters and I will open. The billiard room. Billiard player ghost. Dude, that's like a the Queen of England hat. Or Princess Diana hat. Hmm. We need Yeah, can that go to him? Dusty mirror. Hmm. Another picture of someone's kid that worked on this game. Okay, so if we're looking for... Oh, we haven't been in this room. Hello, Santa. <laughs> okay, a bar of soap. That's got to go in the bathroom. What is that? 
new one. French fries? Those are French fries. In a box of matches. This picture. I'm surprised we don't have to do anything to them. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. And now we just need these two things left. All right, let's go back through everything. So the tub, bar of soap, no? Bar of soap there. But the tub, what are we doing with the tub? Hmm. Is it the only thing that we're... Ah, is the bicycle next to the bathtub? Hmm. Oh, is that like a plug? Maybe we have to put the plug in there? It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, let's go to the corridor. Hmm, a hole in the door. Stuck. study. Anything we can put in here? Anything? We already put everything in here. We just have to get this, but that's not there. Oh, a train goes down there. Wait a minute. The bathroom. Maybe we can make this wet. Ah, uh, I really thought that was going to work. This, this is a dirty mirror, but this won't do that. Okay. I think it's this is the room that we're probably missing some stuff. Oh, ah, I just so did not expect that. Ah, the matches. Which means the other stuff must be around here somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. Where's the french fry? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my dog is snoring in the background. Like straight up. Just... <sighs> oh, okay. So the uh, lamp. Boom. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's the other object. Ah, that we need for... Where's it at? Here. Oh, that wasn't for another part. Was it? I don't think so. Hmm. So we still... It's not that, is it? What the what? A duster for the mirror. Oh. 
a tub plug. Everything makes sense. What? Oh. I found a key. Oh, I never saw that. Hmm. So we're still looking for two objects in here. The french fry and the yin, the yin, the yang? The yin, okay. And then the fry. Hmm. I keep thinking it's gonna be hidden on the cat because the cat's like also orangey yellow. But I'm not seeing it. Let's try a hint. <gasps> Did I not say that? Okay, but like looking at it, that looks like part of the cat. Really, for real. Wow, that was so good. My question is, is where do these french fries go? Ah, oh, there's a hand. <laughs> So then the key must go somewhere here. Look behind the curtain in the... Oh, we're so close. Oh, the other door is stuck. Well, we must unlock something here. Ah, in order to be able to do that. Yep. Let's go here. <gasps> we're going to the attic. <laughs> I'm scared. It's the last part. Oh, snap. Ooh, let's go to the East Tower. Deaf Granny Ghost. <sighs> okay. So we're looking for a couple things here. Um, a colander. And a jar. And a skull. The deaf granny ghost looks just like that picture. You know that old farming picture with the guy that has the pitchfork and the lady? That's what she looks like. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing. Let's go to the West Tower. Ooh, okay. We're looking for a ring. A screwdriver. Lots of things here. Hmm. Old watering <laughs> Bowl of flowers.
Oh, this goes here. Hehe. <laughs> 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 and then we can literally go put this back right now. So satisfying. Okay. I'm still missing some parts though. Mm -hmm. There it is. An ear trumpet? That's for Deaf Granny. <laughs> okay. See the other ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the attic. Ooh. These objects were a lot harder to find because they're not colorful, they're very neutral. So these were definitely uh, harder to find for sure. Oh, repeated random clicks disturbs the ghosts. They will eventually go away, but while they're here, there's, they will make searching for pieces a bit more difficult. What? Uh, go away. And don't mess with me. First of all, I was not random clicking. I was experimenting. That's what I thought it was. This is definitely harder. So it's not this, even though it looks like it. The shaving brush? It goes right there, yeah? What is this? In an insect jar? Scissors. A steam machine. Okay, we've been everywhere. Let's go back to the East Tower. Is there anything here? Young plant? No. We haven't channeled Oh, we can snip the curtains, yeah? What is this? A pipe? That goes over here. In between here. Oh. Whoa! We found the like last part. We just have to have the battery. Okay. Well, that chandelier goes in that other place. Let's see, where was that? That was up to here, right? Yeah. Right there. So we're still looking for this part. But we haven't been over here for a second. Let's see. Oh, there's one. And there's the other. And that definitely goes right there. Whoa, it turned a different color. It's purple. <gasps> Look behind the curtain in the Indian room. Oh. So it definitely gives me like I Spy Spooky Mansion vibes. Like with the hidden message, you have to go back to the room and find it. So close. Where is this last one? Right here? No. Hmm. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, so it's a shiny part, so I would assume it would be kind of where the shiny stuff is, but I don't see it. Here, let's go back over to the West Tower. Oh, yeah, bowl of flower. Bowl of flower. Okay, what you want to bet that we sift this with this colander thing, and then we find that part. So we really need to be finding the rest of the colander, which should be over here. to be the uh, watering can. So that gives us a weight. Oh, I saw something with a weight. Was it here? Yeah. Ah, uh, that gives us that. To go back to the plant. It's amazing how you... Now how does that work? That by getting one item, it like... That's like all you need. You need that one item to like really push you forward and get what you need. Oh, this is it, you guys. Oh. <gasps> the ghost machine. Oh, ghost machine. So I guess we need to go back to the... Ah, yeah, the Indian room. Where's the curtain? <gasps> More timer, you found me at last. I thought you'd never make it. Here, take this battery. It's the last component of the starter. If you haven't done so already, collect all remaining parts of the starter and use it on the ghost machine. I didn't have the chance to test the machine yet. Let's hope this will work. It's the last part. This is a straight up double A Duracell battery. I guess that's all they had at the mansion. Great, you've collected all the parts of the ghost machine starter. Find the machine and use the com completed starter on it, okay? It's just the attic. This is it. It's like the Jimmy Neutron entrance. Oh. Hey, uncle's machine is working. Ghosts are leaving the house. Well, more timer. It seems like we did it. My house is clear of ghosts again. I could not have done it without your help. Come, let's have a cup of tea. I have something important to tell you. Something you would not believe. <gasps> oh, that's so good. Coming soon, the greatest adventure of your time. More timer Beckett and the time paradox. You'll be back. But when? Nice. We give it up for more time, Rebecca. Part one. So I think that's why I always really enjoyed these games is because they were so, like, first of all, I love that's a good spin on a hidden object game. It's a different kind of hidden object game. But then on top of that, having to where it's like, find out what happens next, you know, in the next game. It's very dramatic, but it really wants you to keep coming back and you want to keep coming back. So that's really good. Well, thank you so much for joining another Nostalgic Monday on Carter Blaze. I will see you guys sometime this week. Catch out my channel for some more videos that are upcoming and streams, as always, on Twitch and YouTube. It's always a pleasure having you here. You have a great rest of your day. Bye.